Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do practical reviews, behind the scenes videos and photography bits in between. Today I'm going to be reviewing my long term favourite rucksack, the Evoc CP26L. If you're not familiar with Evoc, they are primarily an adventure rucksack making company. I became familiar with them through mountain biking. My brother owns a mountain bike shop up in Inverness in Scotland. So that's where I first got to know this rucksack. As you can see, it's well battered, it's gone through the mill a little bit. I think the initial audience for this rucksack is people who are out on adventures quite a lot, so mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding. You can see in the zips, they have these little uh, T shapes here. So if you've got big gloves on, they're really easy to open, but that also becomes very useful in day-to-day -day life. Sometimes your hand fingers can slip, it can be a bit fidgety, so simple so useful. The bag also comes with all your usual features, tripod bit there, these straps which will hold it snug. A few of my favourite features on this bag is this little front pocket at the top here, great for keeping cards in, super easy to access as well as if you have the bag on and you quickly spot something, spot some action, say you're shooting a mountain bike race or something like that and suddenly you hear the rider coming down. Oh Greg you can just swing it off, easy access at the side there, pull the camera out and hopefully not miss a shot. One of the other things I found great about this bag was the support that it has. Uh, you've got these straps at the top, you've got your usual clips at the front there and although I've taken it off, you do have your usual waist strap which has little pockets for snacks and stuff I guess. If you open it up, it's separated at the top. So what I found this really good for over the years is if you're going away for one or two days, you might be camping, you might just be visiting somewhere, you might be trekking up a hill or something. This is great for extra clothes, easy to get to. Then you've got a slot for your laptop in here. Well padded, you'll fit a 15 inch, you might fit a 17 inch laptop in there. Little side pocket, bits and bobs. I find that good for chargers kind of bulky things that take up room in the bag, always stick it in there. But the great thing about this rucksack is the whole back opens right up so you can get in there. If you're out and about, you can just lay it flat, easy access to all your gear. You've got enough space for one body, maybe a second if you want to store that sideways without a lens on it and a couple of lenses in there. What I've done here is just stuck on a few labels for like car, USB drive, tether cables, batteries, just so everything has a home, everything's organized, really easy to get a hold of. So. In summary, it's about 200 pounds, UK pounds at the moment. They do a lighter 19 litre version and they do a heavier version, which I think is about 35 litre, which is maybe a bit too big if you're using it for trekking and walking around. Once loaded up, this weighs about 10 to 15 kilograms. That was, that's with two bodies and a laptop and all the other little bits in between. Once you're walking about with 10 or 15 kilograms on your back for a couple hours, you do begin to feel it. All the adjustment straps makes it feel much lighter than it is. I've had the same kit in different bags and it's really pulled my shoulders back. So I really can't fault the way this is shaped and molds to your bag. One little thing is this has kind of come undone, but I mean, over the years, this is how I always picked it up. I just grabbed it by this loophole here. Eventually after, you know, but now I just grab this, it's no problem at all. It does get a bit sweaty. There's no like air gap there. I think that's to be expected with pretty much all rucksacks. So yeah, I've been a great advocate of this bag for many years. I know plenty of other people who actually have got this either through my recommendations or have just ended up chatting to them about it and they swear by it also. I know my friend Johnny Cook has taken his pretty much all around the world. <laughs> Swears by it, he has it in red. If you're looking for a rucksack, you needn't go any further than the Evoc. I honestly swear by it. It's still got plenty of years left in it and I've had it for at least a few years now. It was my first serious camera bag and I'm sure it'll stick with me for many years. Check out any Evoc retailer. I'll try and put some in the description. I'll have a little Google and just put them there for you so you don't have to look around. Thanks for watching this video. I've got a few more lined up, so stick around like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.